Do you know how this begins? The main character, Raslanikov, is a student and he is losing his mind. He's kind of going, he's a mess. And so far I'm kind of with him. And then he goes to a pawnbroker's and he dealt her another and another blow with the blunt side of an ax. He kills her. He kills this woman because he overheard people talking about how awful she is. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill somebody. I'm not killing anyone. Probably for the best. So I think some ground rules are in order. First, no murdering and, and no kidnapping, nothing major, no really major crimes. Isn't the book called Crime and Punishment? How are you gonna have punishment with no crime? Ah, I did not say no crime. I said no major crimes that are gonna land me in serious jail. Okay, I'm skeptical. I know you are, calm down. All right, rule two, only books that I haven't read yet. Uh, there are so many great classics that I just haven't had time for, they weren't on a syllabus, and I think it'll be more authentic. Rule three, I'm not gonna force other people to act as characters in the novel, so my experience may not exactly match what the main characters go through. Does that make sense? So like in Crime and Punishment, there's a character, Marmeladoff and his daughter, Sonia. They live in terrible conditions, are very poor, and so far they seem to serve as kind of a foil or conscious for Raslanikov. You're being a dork, so stop. So basically what I'm saying is I'm not going to make anyone in my life be those two characters. So it's organic for me and, and for them as well, so nobody is being forced into a role. Rule four, last rule, no interfering. That means that I'm going to be going through this alone. It's just me. Get it? Got it. Good. With those rules out of the way, I think our next step is to pick crime. Uh, Raslanikov obviously premeditates his actions, so I have been doing that too. What? They are organized from scariest crime to least scariest crime, and I have picked one that's nicely in the middle range, and I think it's particularly inspired, and I think it's really going to change the way I look at the world around me, the way you look at the world around you, and definitely the way you look around me. Ready? I'm going to steal a bottle of top coat from the student union. No, Alice, you can't do that. Why not? Is that too dangerous? I, I thought it was a little bit much. I could no. find something less scary. No, seriously. Let's scoot over. Okay. You know what you should do? You know what? Steal a test. Not the answers, just the test. From Cutler's class. Who killed me? Well, if he catches you. Look, he's the toughest teacher I know. Right? Everyone in that class is practically failing anyway, uh... so... Okay, yeah, 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 we get it, except for you. Early American history should consume no man's life the way that course has. You'd be like, helping us all out. You'd be like, our hero. I could get expelled. Yeah, well, you said no murder or kidnapping, and that's fine, okay, that's understandable, but but this, this gives you high enough stakes, higher than your weird top coat idea anyways, and you cannot wimp out, right? That's what your English teacher would say. You're afraid. Yeah. I mean, of course I'm afraid that they expelled it. Ugh. Worse than jail. Knock it off, Hermione. Okay, just embrace the project. And yes, cut. We're out. Awesome job. How are you feeling? Is that off? Yes. No, I'm, I mean, that's, a, I'm nervous. That's like, I could be catastrophic. That's the whole point of the project. I have a class in like 15, you? No. Can we use a laptop? Yeah, I'll pack this up. Bye. Okay. She needed that and you know it, all right? If I hadn't done that, she would have done something really boring, all right? And she didn't even realize I was, you know, meddling or whatever. I was more like guiding her, okay? Plus, it'll be awesome not to have to study for that project. Thank you, crime and punishment. I'm never gonna read that.